in Ilchot Teshuvah in the Rambam, he doesn't bring the mitzvah as a mitzvah deoraita to do Teshuvah. Actually, he speaks about the vidui, the confessing. It's a very known Rambam, and there's different ways of understanding this Rambam. Some say that the reason he skips Teshuvah and he says that the mitzvah is just to do a vidui is because Teshuvah is obviously needed. A person is not allowed in any way to continue doing sins. That's already the Avera itself, which means the mitzvah of the Torah that tells you not to do a certain thing, that already applies anyway without the Teshuvah coming about. And therefore, you don't need to reinforce that with the Teshuvah. Or doing a mitzvah, a certain positive mitzvah also. The Torah already says you should do that positive mitzvah. If you didn't do it till now, or if you lacked doing it, you missed doing it sometime, you have to continue doing so just because the Torah commands you to do so without the mitzvah of Teshuvah. So therefore, it's not really needed to tell you to do that or to stop doing the sins that's already given just because the Torah commands that. So tshuva is not really a mitzvah deoraita, but rather the vidui. So when a person does teshuva, he does vidui. But when a person learns the Rambam inside and he reads the words of the Rambam, it seems like they, uh, they, they express a different understanding, and that is that the vidui is the mitzvah that has to come after one does teshuvah. In other words, one has to do teshuvah, has to, as we explained, has to uh, stop doing the sins. But the vidui itself already has in it, includes in it, all those, that, uh, all those elements that need it for the teshuvah. Just to uh, start off, that the Rambam says in the second parak in Yilchot Teshuvah, that there's four parts in the mitzvah of teshuvah, one part is stop doing the sin that he's doing. Secondly, is to accept for the future and not to continue doing so. Thirdly, is to feel a regret and shame. And fourth, is to confess the vidui. Those are the four parts according to the Rambam. Other Rishonim has different parts that they uh, split the mitzvah of Teshuvah to. But this is the Rambam understanding. Now, when you learn the Rambam inside, first of all, he starts just as a headline. He says, Ilchot Teshuvah Mitzvah Se'achat. There's one mitzvah, one positive mitzvah. What is it? Ve'hi she'ashuvah chotem mecheto lifnei Hashem ve'itvadeh. He should do tshuva and he should confess. So we see that there's two things that fall into that mitzvah. Is it two mitzvot? Rambam told me it's only one mitzvah. It's mitzvah ase'achat. One mitzvah ase'achat. So which is it? Tshuva or vidui. So it seems like they both combine into one mitzvah. You express it by the vidui. The Torah, when the Torah speaks about the mitzvah, it speaks about the vidui. As the Rambam says here, that the mitzvah is that one should be mitvadev, itvadu et chatatam asher asu. One should confess the sin. Not everybody learns like the Rambam. The Ramban, for example, he learns that the mitzvah is a mitzvah ase mamash. And he learns that when the Torah speaks about ki ha mitzvah asher anuchi metzavei etchem hayom lo rechokai velo meever layam and so on. That is the mitzvah of tshuva. And he learns that from there. But the Rambam learns that the mitzvah tshuva is, comes, comes as secondary to the vidui because you, when you want to when you want to operate and do the mitzvah of vidui, when you want to actually express the mitzvah of vidui, it has to be done together with the tshuva, because you can't just do vidui, you can't just confess, if this didn't start off with tshuva, tshuva must proceed to the mitzvah of vidui. So let's see the, the way the Rambam writes inside, but first when we go to Sefer mitzvot, he also says the same thing. Mitzvah in Gimel, Yishetzivanu litvadot al achataim ve'avonot. The mitzvah is to confess the sins. Shechatanu lifnei Hashem akel itbarach ve'lomar otam im ha'tshuva. And you have to do it together with the tshuva. So we see it's two that are one. So the Rambam starts off ilchot tshuva saying, kol ha'mitzvot sheba Torah, ben ase, ben lo tase. All the mitzvot of the Torah, whether it's a positive or negative mitzvah, im avar adam al achat mehem, 
בין בזדון, בין בשגגה, a person that violated one of them, whether purposely or by accident, כשעשה תשובה, when he comes to do תשובה, וישוב בחטאו, and he will uh, stop doing the sin, he returns to Hashem, חייב להתוודות לפי הכל ברוך הוא, he must confess his sin. So the mitzvah is to confess, but this confessing is is, is the second step. The first step in order to do the, the confessing is to do tshuva, to stop the sin and to, uh, to accept for the future. Otherwise, confessing itself is meaningless. As the Rabbi would say later on, he would recall that uh, that person that keeps sinning and he does tshuva, he calls it in uh, Perek Shani, Perek Alacha uh, Gimel, Tovel v'sharetz b'yado, it's like a person that goes into the mikveh, he dips in the mikveh, but he still holds a sharetz, a sharetz that causes him to ma, which means although he goes to the mikveh, but the sharetz is in his hand, that doesn't help his tshuva, that's what the Rambam says, kolo mitvadeh b'dvarim, person that does a vidu and confession, velo gamar b'libo l'azov, and he didn't, he didn't accept upon himself to stop the sin, it's just like a person that goes into the mikveh with a sheretz. She'en advila mo'elet at she'ashlich ha-sheretz. The tvila, the dipping, is not going to be beneficial in any way unless he throws away the sheretz. <coughs> and that's what the pasuk says. Umodeh v'ozev yerucham. A person that confesses mode, but also together with that ozev, he leaves the sin. He abandons the sin. Only he, such a person would get mercy from Hashem, and that would be considered tshuva. So the Rambam starts off over here saying that whenever you want to do a confession, whenever you want to do the vidu, it has to come first with tshuva. It has to first come with doing those steps that lead a person to do the right thing of uh, teshuva. So he explains even more, and he says, Ketzad mitvade, how does he do the confession? Omer. This is what the person says in the confession. Ana Hashem chatati aviti pashati lefanecha. I sinned in front of you. Now, the, to understand the difference between chatati aviti pashati, the Gemara explains chatati means a person, chet is a person that does something beshogeg, which means unknowingly. You do a sin, but you didn't do, know it's a sin. Like for instance, uh, if a person on Shabbat didn't realize it was Shabbat and he violated Shabbat, or he knows that it's Shabbat, but he doesn't know that what he's doing is a sin. That's considered chet, and that's a very severe thing, because you bring a korban for that. When Bet HaMikdash was in existence, you would bring a sacrifice to atone for that sin. But that is considered a chet. That's the least of the other sins. Then aviti, aviti means bemezi, the person that does avera, a sin, knowingly. And then Pashati, a person that does in order to rebel against Hashem, which means he knows that he's sinning, but more than that, he doesn't care. He says, I don't care. Uh, and and that's, that's, that's rebelling. It's not like a person that does something knowingly, but the Yetzirah just got to him. He was, he was uh, so much in a need to do the Avera that he fell. But the person that says, I don't care, he doesn't have that same... Uh, he doesn't have the same desire to do the Avera. Just see that he has this attitude that who cares? That's, uh, that falls into a category of rebelling against Hashem. And that's worse and that's, that falls under Pashati. So if we have a Virchatati, a Viti Pashati, that's what we say in the confession. That's the main part of the Vidui. Then we also go and specify all the other sins together with that. But those are the three categories that are the main categories. So he says, This is what I did. He specifies all the sins that he did. I'm regretting that and I'm ashamed of doing that. So we see over here, there's a regret. So besides the confession, in, within the confession, there's also the, all the parts and elements of the tshuva. One of them is the regret. And I accept not to do it anymore. This is the vidui, which means the vidui holds in it also the other parts of the shuva, which are feeling a regret and shame. Secondly, stopping the sin, accepting for the future. And with those, you do the confession the correct way. 
and therefore the mitzvah of tshuva is wrapped within the mitzvah of the vidui. This is how the Rambam explained, and it's, it continues. It says, "The person then confesses. The more a person confess, the more praiseworthy it is. Which means it's 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 not enough to confess one time. It's more. It's better." to keep on confessing. Although, if a person confessed correctly, which means with doing the tshuva correctly, and therefore he accepted upon himself wholeheartedly that he would not sin again, he abandoned that sin, he stops that sin, and he accepts for the future, he regrets, he truly ex- regrets, and he says a confession, such a person is considered a bad tshuva, gamur is complete, uh, his tshuva, and all his sins, or whatever sins he made the Shuvah over, are completely atoned, completely uh, wiped out, and therefore such a person comes clean in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and his sins are not going to be reminded to him ever again. That is what the Rambam teaches us in the very first Perek of Hilchot Teshuvah.